Yo, what is going on? Jacob here as always. Today I am finally back after a couple of months of being absent. I want to apologize for that. Everything was turned upside down in my life and uh, holidays and things like that. So um, I am here today to get this block all prepped and uh, ready to go. Um, I'm going to hone out the cylinders. I'm going to clean up the top deck. I'm going to clean up the uh, bottom where the oil pan goes, make sure everything's all cleaned up and ready for me. Uh, I'm going to clean out all the oil passages and things like that, just blow it out, make sure it's good to go because it has been sitting for a little bit and it's probably got some dust and stuff on it. Uh, and then once that's done, I think the next episode is going to be assembling the bottom end. Then we're going to start working on the head, uh, get all the valves seated correctly, get the head cleaned up. Um, so anyways, let's jump right into this. Go back, 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 back. So the first thing I do here is pull the dowels out of the deck of the block because they're just going to get in the way. And then I go ahead and go through each of the cylinders with uh, the honing tool. Before I go through any cylinder, each one I clean with brake clean to make sure there's no debris or dust or anything like that. Old oil, clean it all out of there. Then spray it down with some WD-40 and I actually wipe some engine oil in there too. I have, I'm using both and, uh, uh, and then run the honing tool through. So while I'm honing, I'm keeping track of roughly how long I'm honing each cylinder for and I'm making sure to drill at a speed and move up and down at a speed that creates 45 degree angle grooves so that we get a good uh, cross hatching inside of the board. I'm also making sure that I am staying straight up and down when I'm going in and out. You don't want to go in at an angle because you can cause uh, tapering inside of the bore and that's very bad. So once I get all the way through all six cylinders, um, I noticed that there was a couple of score marks in one or two of the cylinders. Specifically, uh, cylinder five had a couple of scores in it. I don't know what happened. Maybe, um, maybe it breathed in a couple of grains of sand or something somehow. Maybe during an air filter change. I don't know. But um, to make sure that I was consistent through all the cylinders, I hit all of them again uh, a couple of passes and I didn't clean up the scores completely but it wouldn't register with a pick so I was scrap scraping at them with a pick and it wasn't getting caught in the in the score marks so I'm pretty sure that that's not going to cause a problem one thing to note as well is uh, these bores are 89.9 millimeters and so the honing tool that you need is a 90 millimeter flex hone. Also, be sure that you're making your way all the way down and all the way up inside of the cylinder bore because you don't want to be stopping halfway through and then coming back up or, or stopping and going, going back down uh, because you'll get an irregular um, hone and it will not be uniform and that's bad. Also make sure that when you are going into and coming out of the bore while you're honing that you're not letting go of the drill trigger so that you're going in spinning and coming out spinning. You don't want to stop the drill moving and then pull it out. You'll scratch the, uh, uh, the cylinder bore and destroy the cross hatching. So in this next bit, I am resurfacing the block deck. Um, this is where things get a little bit controversial because some people swear that this is going to damage your uh, block. Some people have done it. I've actually done this. I did this to a Honda uh, D15 motor uh, for a head gasket and it's not leaking at all, not a problem. So I'm gonna do it again on this, although this is gonna be making you know probably over four times the horsepower. Uh, this is an iron block and I don't think it's gonna have a problem with me doing this um, uh, to the head and you know I'm not I'm not using aggressive sandpaper either I'm starting off with 220 grit just to get all of the crud off of the surface here um, and then get it down to bare metal and then once I get it down to bare metal and it's pretty good and there's no blemishes um, I move on to 500 and then 800 the entire time it's wet sanded so I'm using WD-40 
Uh, but I just want to mention that that some swear that this will damage your block. So you need to find out for yourself if you want to do this uh, or not. But the way I do it is I just use a flat uh, piece of wood. You can also get a, um, a sanding. There's a, a thing that you can get that you can hold with both your hands and it's meant for sanding. I don't have one. I just used a piece of wood and I taped uh, some sandpaper to it and I just go corner to corner. So top right to, uh, you know, bottom left and vice versa uh, to give it a good crosshatch and then that's it I you know 220 500 800 um, that's US grit by the way I think in um, everywhere else it's different so just FYI this is the United States um, and I believe that this gives a roughness average on the surface uh, for the head gasket somewhere between 30 and 50 uh, I believe if you use 800 and that should be okay for MLS, ga MLS gasket and it should be okay for uh, OEM uh, gasket as well. It shouldn't be a problem for either one. Uh, but you may need to do a little bit more research to find out whether you want to go f more fine than this or go more coarse. So I was going to start um, getting the piston rings into the block here and gapping the rings and stuff, uh, but I can't find specs on what I need to do with the rings uh, in a turbo application. I think the size that I need to gap these to is um, 0 0.018 inches. I think that's about where I need to go, which is uh, 0.46 millimeters. However, uh, before I just start grinding away and just setting it like that, uh, I posted on a forum and I'm going to find out exactly what everybody else thinks. Uh, I don't want to make a mistake and then destroy my engine with something as silly as gapping, you know, piston rings. So uh, I'm going to wait until tomorrow. So this is going to be the last bit for this episode. Uh, but here in the next couple of days, I'm going to upload another episode, probably tomorrow, honestly, um, and gapping the rings and, and assembling the bottom end of the, of the engine. So stay tuned for that. Um, and I'm going to do a pan over this thing for you guys so you can see the quality of the block now that I'm done with it. Hey, if you're getting value out of this content, definitely leave me a like and leave a comment below about what you liked or didn't like or if you want to see something or if you have a question. Also, the next episode coming up, uh, I will be gapping the piston rings and I'll show the process uh, of figuring out what size gap to use and how to adjust the gap on the piston rings as well. So you definitely don't want to miss that, so definitely hit that subscribe button so that you can have it pop up in your feed whenever I upload it. And again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.